Experts around the world are studying satellite images from Asia. New images that show something floating in the ocean five days after that passenger jet vanished. 239 people on board. So are these images part of the answer or will they just deepen the mystery? ABC's Bob Woodruff walks us through this new twist at the disappearance of that plane. Tonight, the intriguing new clues. Those images captured by a Chinese satellite, one, after the other, three in all, one nearly 80 feet long, found in the search zone, reportedly closer to the original path of the flight. But are they from the missing plane? To answer that, the search is growing. The zone, now the size of Indiana, spanning a distance greater than Chicago to Atlanta. Finally, American experts have been let in to help pour over the clues. After five long days, all we know for sure is this. Flight 370 took off at 12.21 a.m. and then fell off civilian radars by 1.30 a.m. Saturday morning, right here. The pilot's last words to the tower, all right, good night. What's still a mystery, claims by the Malaysian military that their radar picked up a signal 45 minutes later. That might have been the missing plane soaring way off course, all the way over here. Added to this, a worker aboard this oil rig saying he thinks he spotted something, emailing that he saw what looked like the plane burning at high altitude in the night sky here in the waters off Vietnam, closer to the flight's original route. The Vietnamese searched the area but say they found nothing. For the families of the 239 missing, face after face, fathers, high school sweethearts, grandparents, it is agony. There is no news whatsoever. It's just disappeared off the face of the earth. And if we could just find some wreckage or something, would be a help probably, but not this. So now the eyes are really focused on those images taken by the Chinese on Sunday and now finally released. The question is, are those really pictures of that plane on the water? That hopefully we'll find out soon enough. Diane? ABC's David Curley covers aviation for us. He's standing by right now, David. So show us exactly where they found these objects. Well, the Chinese say they took these pictures on Sunday, Diane, so let's take a look. We know where this plane ended up. Its last radar hit was over the South China Sea. Where they're saying that they got these pictures is in the southeast area. It's about a 25-mile circle where they saw these three different items. They see the large pieces of floating debris. The pictures are not super sharp, but the Chinese say these are big pieces, 30 to 80 feet across. Now, experts are going to tell you that it's difficult to, if not impossible, identify objects with a satellite picture. In fact, one expert told us these pieces might be too big to be part of this plane, but this could help concentrate a search. Also, the debris field could answer some very big questions for us. We have an aerial photo from the Air France crash in the Atlantic. It hit on the water, so its debris field was a little bit more concentrated. A very wide debris field could mean that the, uh, the jet broke apart at altitude. So these pictures are still being analyzed. We asked some U.S. officials from the government what they think about these pictures. They said the first they heard about it was today. We asked, have you moved satellites to look at this area? They would not comment or tell us anything about that, mm -hmm. Diane. But again, David, we're talking about something fairly close to the regularly scheduled route. It is, uh, we're hearing anywhere from 100 to 200 miles to the southeast. So that could be, you know, here's part of the problem, Diane, is this was the last ping we saw, and the plane apparently stayed in the air for a little bit longer. Did it fly that way, or has debris floated that way? Is it even the debris from the aircraft? Thanks so much, David. And now I want to turn to one of those leading experts, a pilot, ABC News consultant, Colonel Steve Ganyard. Steve, you're looking at these pictures. Can they be made clearer? What do you see? Diane, they are tantalizing. I don't know if they're clues yet. I wish we could blow them up a little bit. They're just, I think, a little too fuzzy at this point to think that we're going to get any better clarity. We're going to have to get ships and we're going to have to get airplanes out there to look at the area and make sure that these are not parts of the airplane. But when David raises the possibility they could be too big to they be could, debris, what does that mean? Be. Maybe they're longer than the actual wingspan of a 777 or the fuselage, so maybe they're just too big. But at this point, we know so little that we have to investigate every potential clue, and these certainly are tantalizing. And you've been reminding us, even if this is debris from that plane, it could be a long time before we know what really happened. Exactly. If you remember the Air France crash, we found debris after five days, but it was two years underneath that, underneath that debris at sea before we found the black boxes that held the secrets. And remember, we will not find out what happened in this mishap until we get those black boxes. All right. Thank you, Steve, for joining in tonight. This really is an intriguing night. Thank you.